Welcome to today's edition of the Exploring Mining Podcast, featuring stock news from TSX, TSXV, CSE, ASX, NASDAQ, and New York Stock Exchange mining companies, plus interviews with CEOs and leading experts. Hello everyone, this is Sam Mowers here. Welcome to the latest episode of the Exploring Mining Podcast. For news today, we've got the latest from Osisco Gold Royalties, Stamp Gold, Northern Graphite, and Mine Hub Technologies. But just before we get into the show, a quick reminder that if you enjoy this podcast, please feel free to share it or even leave us a review. And as always, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com. This includes the Cannabis Podcast, the Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, along with many others all of which will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. All right, so Osisco Gold Royalties Limited, which trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol OR, has completed an amendment to its 75% silver stream with respect to the Gibraltar Copper Mine in British Columbia, Canada. This mine is operated by a wholly owned subsidiary of Tosico Mines Limited, which trades on the NYSE American under the ticker TGB. This amendment, according to the press release, will increase OSISCO's effective stream percentage by 12.5% up from their 75 for a total of 87.5%. Sandeep Singh, the president and CEO of OSISCO, comments, quote, We are pleased to increase our silver exposure on the long-life Gibraltar mine, and enhance our partnership with Tasico. Our shareholders will benefit from the increased silver stream, coupled with the approximately 1.5 million additional ounces of silver to be delivered to Osisco due to the extended threshold. End quote. Stock for the company is up 1.18% at the time of recording. Moving along, Step Gold Limited, which trades on the TSX under the ticker STGO, has announced that it has completed the acquisition of Ana Cortez Mining Corp. Step Gold's chairman and CEO, Bata Tamur Ochur, hope I said that right, said, quote, We warmly welcome Ana Cortez shareholders as they become part of Step. The strategic location of the high grade. Trez Cruces deposit, coupled with its excellent infrastructure, proximity to other mining operations and logistics, and the presence of a strong labor force instills us with confidence in the project's potential. We are keen to move the Trez Cruces project forward, and we are focused on providing significant benefits for all stakeholders, with a particular focus on the communities in the region. End quote. Next up, Northern Graphite Corporation, trading on the TSXV under the ticker NGC, has signed a letter of intent with the city of Baikomo in Quebec, Canada, to purchase land for a 200,000 ton per year battery anode material or BAM plant in a move to advance its plans to supply anode material to lithium ion battery manufacturing plants throughout North America. The company's CEO, Hugh Jacquemin, said, quote, This is a big step forward in our strategy to be an integrated, sustainable, cost-effective mine-to-market supplier to the booming EV battery manufacturing market and a key player in North America's critical minerals strategy. From here, everything flows. We now know where the facility will be located, how much power it will require, and where the power needs to go and can proceed with all the design and logistical work required to begin construction, end quote. Stock for Northern Graphite is up 2.63% at the time of recording. Lastly, for today, Mine Hub Technologies, Inc., which trades on the TSXV under the ticker MHUB, has reported record revenue of $341,636 for the first quarter of this year. The company's revenue growth was largely attributed to the addition of software-as-a-service revenue from Waybridge Technologies, Inc. customers. Following Minehub's acquisition of Waybridge, Minehub's CEO, Arnu Star Busman, said, quote, 
Q1 was a transformational quarter for MineHub, in which we completed the com combination of MineHub and WayBridge to create the leading global digital platform for commodity supply chains. This highly accurate transaction immediately increased our user base to more than 100 companies and has had a positive impact on the company's revenue, which is evident in the first quarter of financial results. End quote. Stock for MineHub Technologies is down 1.96% at the time of recording. Well, that does it for today's Exploring Mining podcast. If you'd like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, please contact InvestorIdeas.com. InvestorIdeas.com reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. All investment involves risk, and this podcast is not meant to be an endorsement to buy or sell securities or products. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Audible, Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, and most audio platforms available.